Hello, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while since I've uploaded. I took a self-care break, been through some ish in life, dealt with that. I'm good. Details will be in the description. I'm not gonna blab on about my life here and waste time. For this video, I am doing... What am I doing? Oh, I am doing a Target versus Flying Tiger Copenhagen Slimes. I bought these slimes from the mall the other day and I wanted to review them. I always see them in videos, but I've never bought from an actual store before. I usually buy them online, such as on Amazon and Etsy. Starting off with the slimes I bought from Target. This is called the Amazing Slime Glitter Palooza in size extra large. You get a great amount of slime for, I believe, $8. It was sealed on the outside and on the inside. This slime is gorgeous. It's clear, it has a lot of silver glitters, it's a disco ball. Thick, just how I like my clear slimes, and it still can stretch. Kind of smells like the pool, which I was not a fan of. That and sometimes glitters would fall out are the only things that I didn't like about this, but other than that, love this slime. This one is called Scented Fluffy Clouds Melon Mania from Compound Kings. This was covered on the outside. On the label, it states that includes a surprise charm, and it did. It is a green strawberry, which is not realistic, but it's still adorable. By the way, if I don't list the price for a particular slime, it's because I don't remember it. I lost the receipts. On the label, it says that it's scented, which it is. It has a strong cucumber melon scent. It smells really good. This is a decent store-bought cloud slime. It made effortless, easy drizzles. It's on the drier side. The the only issue I had was that it had a lot more fallout than usual. Moving on to this Jelly Cube slime from Nickelodeon. So this was covered or sealed on the outside and then it had one of those paper cover thingies on the inside. The label says that this is 7.5 ounces. I'm going to point the obvious. This definitely could be filled more. Let's start with the negatives first, shall we? So that was one thing I didn't like. And then another is it's not quite stretchy. It rips a little bit if I stretch it too fast. So I know I just started harsh and I was blunt but there are positives so I love the whole aesthetics of this slime surrounding kiwis it even smells like kiwis and the black beads represent the seeds in a kiwi love that I enjoyed squishing the jelly cubes So I bought this slime for fun, but I still wanted to show you guys. This is a liquid metal slime. So it's like a metallic, pearl, watery, jiggly slimes. Those barrel O slimes. Some people don't like these slimes. I personally like them. I think they're fun and cool to look at when it jiggles, even though you can't exactly poke it. Now onto the slimes I bought from Flying Tiger Copenhagen. That is a long name. I'm just gonna refer it as Flying Tiger. So this is a new store that opened in my mall and I was curious so I checked it out and they have some cool things such as stationery, slime, of course, like toys, little knickknacks. Not sponsored by the way, I was genuinely curious. I looked the store up and they originated from Denmark, so that is fascinating. This is one of the slimes that I bought from the store. I'm not sure how many ounces this is because the packaging didn't specify that, but I do have the receipt so I know the prices. This was $3. It's quite a small slime, but it's still playable. It advertised as a stretchy slime, which yes, indeed it is. It kind of smells like lotion. The only issue I had was sometimes the glitters would go on your hands.
another slime that I bought and what caught my eye is the pink and the blue which never mix by the way I did not expect this to be like one of those watery jiggly slimes it's not as jiggly as the liquid metal slime that I reviewed earlier but it is the same idea just smelled like glue it's one of those slimes for jiggling and whatever not really for poking or constant stretching I had to buy this because I've never seen slime packaged like this. It reminds me of how putties are stored. So the label says that this is a foam slime. Unfortunately, that is not the case here. This is straight up clay, not slime. I didn't really enjoy the scent either. It smells like vinegar. I don't quite understand the foam slime aspect. Next up is a putty and this has similar packaging as the previous slime that I just reviewed. This is a gorgeous putty. It reminds me of space with the stars. It is not the softest putty but it's definitely not tough. You can still squish it and it's stretchy. It has a similar scent to the foam slime but much weaker. Lastly, I bought this entire set of... I wasn't sure if it was slime. It looked like phloam, but it advertised as pearl clay, but nothing was really pearl about it or metallic. I'm assuming that's what they meant by pearl. Each container is one and a half fluid ounces. I come to find out that yes, this is phloam. It was sticky upon opening it, so I had to activate it. it it's not the stretchiest thing in the world, but that's because there's a lot of beads compact together. It's really crunchy. The set came with red, white, blue, yellow, and black flomes, and all of the colors are so vibrant. Well, except for the white one. Also, some of these flomes had some glitters. I'm going to speak on all of the flomes. All of them were sticky and had to be activated. Some of them would stretch and then rip, and some of them would just straight up rip, and they don't really smell like anything. Yeah, I don't really understand the pearl clay part, but I do think that this set is a good price because you get five flomes for $7. That wraps up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up if you want to. I will see you in my next one. Bye!